mythology out there, and I want to eliminate it. Good morning, Dennis and Kimberly. Smile, you two. Aren't they the cutest couple? Look at them. <laughs> you guys ought to get married or something. Oh, you are. That's right. There you go. Um, question for the group. Who sells better, an extrovert or an introvert? Con, what do you guys think? You can raise your hand or, or just jump in for real fast if there's a break. There's never a break. An extrovert? Herbie. Go ahead, Herbie. No, no, in your history, you're an introvert at first. I'm a recovering introvert. <laughs> okay. Who's a better salesperson, though? Hervik, what do you think? I would say it would probably naturally, probably an extrovert would be, would have a slight advantage. But extroverts don't listen well. Ask my wife, all right? I have that husband disease. We don't listen. I know all the ladies are shaking their head right now. <laughs> Yvonne, Yvonne, I didn't uh, acknowledge you. I'm sorry. No worries. I'm here. <laughs> good, good. Extrovert or introvert, my friend? Um, personally, I think extroverts, just, just like uh, Harvick said, I think naturally yeah, right, we probably don't listen better, but I think in terms of getting people's attention and kind of, you know, persuading people, I think extroverts do a lot better because they're not shy, I guess. I'm not saying introverts are shy, but. Do you, do you think that extrovert personality, that outgoing um, energy from that person is attractive in some cases or annoying? I think it's it's attractive. It depends on how how far how far you can you can go with it. But majority of times, I think it's attractive because it shows confidence. And I think a lot of times in selling, as we do, we have to have confidence. So I think that's why extroverts tend to have that a lot more compared to an introvert. Anybody here ever meet an extrovert and you couldn't get it and you waited for them to take a breath, which they never do to get a word in? Has anyone <laughs> ever experienced that? <laughs> Does anyone have a friend like that who just? doesn't have to breathe and can talk for five minutes straight. I'm yes. that friend. Observation. Who said Claude is like that? Who, I heard you. No, no, I, I said, heard you. I, I said I have an observation. I think the extrovert selling the old style where you were just running over people's objections and asking for the order five times and pretending you don't hear them. I think in the old style, I think the extrovert might have the advantage because uh, like a lot of people, I believe that was the way you had to do it. But listening and learning from you and having to listen, I think the introvert, if they're properly studied and taught, has the advantage because they actually do listen. Oh, okay. The listen hey, Claude, I have a comment. Um, oh, go ahead, when, you go, when, you, when you go to your doctor, your doctor is not some obnoxious extrovert. He's, he's usually a quiet, mm -hmm. focused... He wants to get to the point. He's he usually will. It's kind of a, a cross between a lawyer and a doctor, you know, where you got to use the listening skills, but know how to ask the right questions. Don't we find that attractive to the person, the engineer, the doctor, who's a little more sedate and listens to what we're saying? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Is, is that is is? Do you think there's an, a do you think there's a place for both personalities? Maybe a hybrid. Yes. Yes. What do you think, Sammy? I saw the thumbs up there. Uh, yes, I think they both bring different skills to the table. And it's a matter of balance between mixing the two. And uh, if you're introverted or shy, you need to work a little bit on the outgoingness. And if you're extroverted, you may have to pull it back a little bit, reel it in just a couple of notches. Um, to find that balance and each individual that you work with is going to be a little bit different. Um, so that calibration on the move becomes key because you need to calibrate to who you're selling to, who you're interacting with, who you're working with. Mm -hmm. yeah. Suzette. Yes. You had your hand up. Did you have to go to oh. the bathroom or you <laughs> wanted to? I was telling my letters to stop. <laughs> <laughs> But I do agree. I think um, it, it depends on the person we are talking to. If that person is introverted, we cannot come aggressive as an extroverted and not let them talk. But if that person is extroverted and we're trying to be introverted, then we're never going to get a, a word to that extroverted person either. So we kind of have to mirror. I don't want to say a mirror, but I would say that somewhat you have to see who you're talking to and then kind of adjust what you're going to say and how we're going to say it. I, I like still, that. Still make, it, still make it interesting for that person because we have to make it interesting to them, but somehow catch their attention with 
doing and saying more or less using their words. I, I don't know how to describe it exactly, but. Okay. Do you, does anyone here know a couple where the one partner is very, talks a lot and the other one is a little more quiet and sedate? Do we know a lot? Do we know people like that in our, in our world? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I, th I think, um, I think there's room for both. I think when you're selling, good morning, Steve. Steve in New York. How, how's things going out there, man? You okay? You're muted, buddy. Let me, I'll unmute you here. Go ahead. Yeah, you're good. Uh, I'm in, I'm in sunny central Florida right now. I can't oh, go I, back. Oh, oh, that's right. That's right. You, you <laughs> escaped from New York ground zero. I'm down here going on over two months already. So. All right. You're falling in love with the blue-haired ladies who go down the one-way streets? I'm falling in love with the weather. Okay. The weather here is unbelievable. I talk to home. My wife and my son are there, and they're saying it's in the 50s. It's raining. Ugh. And <laughs> it's all the same. It's all great. You know what I like about you, Steve? You're, I always talk about communication. You're one of the few people who know how to talk like me. You know what I'm saying? You let it go. You got to get your point across. You gotta, you, 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 you're talking to me or what here? You, you got to use the hands. Yeah. Yeah. Forget about <laughs> it. You know? Use the hands. You, what, the, this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ab absolutely. I think there's room for both. You got to be a good communicator. You've also got to listen. I think listening sometimes or leaning forward or a little body language. <clears throat> Do you think that's a turn on for a prospect? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Tim Wood. It's engaging. Tim Wood, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, absolutely. And it shows that uh, you're 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 paying attention to them and it makes them feel like you're paying attention to them and it makes them feel like you care and you're interested in what they're saying. Um, so absolutely. Oh, I'm, it, it puts them in the position where they go, oh, this guy cares about me. This guy really wants to know what's going on with me or what my problem is or something like that. So. So absolutely, I think that's a, a big turn on for them. Absolutely. What happens if you're going out on a first date and you do a lot of this? <laughs> you're a millennial. There will be, there will be no second date. <laughs> I you, think put if the you're, you put the phone down and they're, they're not there. <laughs> well, if you're a millennial, the person on the other side of the table has, probably has the phone and you're talking to them. Even yeah, you're texting you, each other. <laughs> even though you're six feet apart. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's go to, that was interesting. Thank you for that, guys. Uh, let's go to open forum here. Um, anybody have a question, a role play? Who wants to, who has a deal to pitch or who has some bragging? I want to hear some bragging. Um, I had a, last week, I'll, I'll start us off. Last week, we had a, fin I don't know what's going on. I don't have the answer here. But uh, without sounding like a jerk, our, my business, our business is booming right now. And I don't know why. Uh, uh, thank you. I, I wasn't trying to get accolades or anything or, or sound like a braggart or, or something. But for some reason, we're getting a lot of phone calls. We're getting a lot of emails, texts. We're getting, a, we did a phenomenal deal, a follow-up deal. I talked about it in the Skype group um, that I was deciding whether or not to, I just took a 14, 15 mile run. I was going to take a nap. And I said, no, I got some follow-up. And that one person I followed up with turned out to be the most amazing deal uh, for the month of May, I've already hit my financial goal for the month of May. I track back my financials, what we did, what our gross sales were going back 20 plus years. And this May is the best May we've ever had. And it was because I returned the phone and I was just amazed at how good the business is right now with all this bad stuff going on. Anybody have an answer for me? I have a question. Okay. Okay, you answered my question with a question. I, I've trained you way too well. 